Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This is Gabe with Indigo Software, genuine Microsoft software for less. In today's video, we're gonna show you guys how to use the hyperlink feature inside of Microsoft Visio. As we're now offering Microsoft Visio 2024 Professional at Indigo Software, we wanted to share a few helpful instructional videos of us demonstrating how to use this software. Before we get started with this video, if you're interested in purchasing Microsoft Office, Windows 10, Windows 11, remote desktop licenses, or a wide variety of other Microsoft software at a great price, be sure to check out Indigo Software. We'll put links down below. So without further ado, let's jump in. All right, guys, so we're inside of Visio here, and this is actually a lighting diagram that I made of this filming setup here in the office. There are a few things in here that I may want to hyperlink. For example, if I'm sharing this with colleagues and they're interested in these products that I'm using, I could actually link the products themselves on the shapes. And so this is one cool feature of Visio. Similar to PowerPoint, you can hyperlink any shape. Let's say I want to hyperlink this black flag right here. With it selected, we're actually going to use the same keyboard shortcut for hyperlinking that you would use on pretty much any platform, and that's Control K, or if you're on Mac, Command K. So this is gonna bring up a hyperlink box, essentially. Our first option is address. This could be an internet address or a local file. We also have sub address, and this is how we can link to other pages or shapes inside of Visio itself. So for the black flag, let's go ahead and find the link that I want to hyperlink to. Okay, so I found the product online. I'm going to copy this exact link that's in the address bar. Let's go back into Visio, and we're gonna paste that in the address link here, and I'll click OK. Here's how you can test if this worked. I'm gonna click somewhere else on the document here, and if I hover over the shape, we're gonna see that little web icon coming up, and that's telling us that this is hyperlinked. So how do I now access or go to the link? Well, we're just gonna right-click the shape, and we can see the link here. Let's click that and it's going to bring us directly to the web address. We can use the same method here to link any local files on our PC. For example, if we have an Excel document or a Word document. Now, another thing I may want to do on this document is actually link the floor plan to my floor plan page. Maybe whoever's looking at it wants to see the office as an empty space. To do this, we're going to select the floor plan itself. All right, and then we're going to hit Control K. Here we're going to click Browse on the sub address. Let's change this to the floor plan page and I'll press OK. I'll press OK again. And now again, we can see that little web icon that's showing up signifying that this is hyperlinked. I'm gonna right click and we can actually click floor plan and it's gonna bring us to the floor plan page. Now, if you want these hyperlinks to remain active when sharing this document, if we get a file and save as, we're gonna have to save this as a Visio macro enabled drawing. I believe we could also use some of the other Visio files themselves, but the default file type is basically a Visio project file, and that's going to retain these hyperlinks that we're adding. All right, guys, so that's going to do it. If you have any questions about any parts of this video, drop those in the comments below, and we'll get back to you as soon as we can. Again, if you're interested in purchasing genuine Microsoft software at a great price, be sure to check out Indigo Software. You can find those links down below. As our channel grows, we're constantly looking for new video topic ideas to make. If you have an idea that you'd like to see made into a video, we strongly encourage you to let us know what that is down below. Most of these requests get made into actual videos. Lastly, a like and subscribe would be greatly appreciated as it helps to support the channel. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you guys in the next one.